So here we are, walking in another winter wonderland across snow covered bridges atop fast moving ice cold water rapids. No, not really. We're good. Uh, don't fall. <laughs> don't fall. We are exercising a slack pack option today. One of Trey's Instagram followers is a police officer and she saw that we were in Roan Mountain and she came up from another town right next to it. Hampton? Uh, Elizabethtown? Elizabethtown, something like that. And agreed to uh, take our packs up to Bob People's place today. So we have 24 miles to walk. It is, at least on the book, relatively nice terrain. No real major steep ups or downs. But it's covered in snow. But we're slack packing. We each are wearing like a little day pack with snacks and water and reindeer in it. So we'll uh we'll see what this is like all right semantics yeah. I'm, i know this is the thing i can't i argue stupid semantics and we're really just saying the same thing i know what you mean no we're not saying the same thing but we're not really saying the same thing. Really wrong. oh no i'm right. definitely saying you're wrong yeah <laughs> <laughs> you fuck all <laughs> Woo. oh it's so pretty oh uh, I don't know how long my battery will last today in this cold, but it's amazing. <sighs> Wave! Yeah, we're moving through some uh, shin deep snow. Falls iced up, but still moving. Whew. That is probably the most unofficial four hundred mile mark ever, but yeah. 400 miles northbound. Okay, this is Mountaineer Falls. It's still pretty cold out here. Ooh, I'm walking on ice. All right. Back to the trail. I've lost all my speed today. I was sort of able to keep up with uh, Trey and Fjord. They'd pull ahead and then get a little burst and I'd catch up with them. And then they'd pull ahead and I'd get a little burst and catch up with them. But no, they're somewhere way up there. Whew. That was. I gotta make it the miles because. I don't have my sleeping bag or tent. 
So I will make it because I have to. I just hope I'm able to find it when I get to that point of the trail. Oh, the can see me from up there. At Mountaineer Falls Shelter, there's Blueberry up there. And we got to get to Kinkora. We got like 16 more miles to go. So, gotta move. Uh, we just had a little pizza break. Ate some of the pizza that was left over from uh, yesterday. Packed it out. Ate it up. Okay, these rhododendrons, not my biggest friend today. Because they are, uh, I guess, heavier with all the snow on them. So they are all in the trail. And uh, I've gone about two miles doing that, so. Because you can't stand up and walk, because they're up here with you. Well, someone put a bench here on the trail. Mighty kind for them to haul a bench up. So I guess I'll sit down for a second and just look at the view. It's a beautiful day. So, let me tell you about Doe River Hiker Rest. Okay. <clears throat> it is six miles off the AT. But, he will come pick you up. Now, it's $30, and that includes everything. He gave us beds to sleep in with linens and pillows, okay? Towels, washcloths, shower, laundry, entertainment, sitting in his living room. Uh, you know, of course, after you, after you shower and get the trail off you. But, uh, full use of his kitchen and it's a, I mean, it's a full kitchen it's, we're talking stove oven microwave coffee pot like it, it was just it was awesome and he's like he's on a farm there's goats and chickens and horses dogs Rhododendron trees. Anyway. He's a real nice guy. And uh, when, whoa, when Trey and Fjord got off the trail, he took them and Went to get him a burger at a diner that was closed. But he knew the guy and said, hey, I'm bringing in some hikers. Can we open up the store and feed them? And after they got burgers, 
they came back to the trailhead and picked me up. And uh, took us to the general store. Yeah, we got our, so we got a resupply. Got onto the house, got cleaned up. And that's when we saw the weather report that it was just going to be nasty the next day, which was yesterday. <coughs> Freezing rain and more snow falling. So we uh, took the took another zero. Let that bad weather pass. Now it's beautiful today. It's a little cold, but no rain, no snow, scheduled for today. So, uh, Stepped in a little water. Well, keep moving. But uh, yeah, real nice guy. And I mean, his place isn't a five-star resort, but it's really accommodating for through hike. So, two thumbs up. Doe River Hiker Rest. This is the second year they've been open. The first year they're in AWOL. So, give them a try out. Really nice folks. Really a, you know, farm home feel. But, Just, I was stopping to get water a minute ago. A little more than a minute ago, about a half hour ago. And, these two hikers. Hardcore cat. Oh my goodness. There. How long has that snow been on the lens? Hardcore cascades. Okay. Let's not go in this water. They're so hardcore, man. Anyway, I was stopping to get some water and And uh, two hikers came across the water source. Guy and a girl. And I moved to the side of the trail with the guy through. He walked by. And as I was filtering my water, which is a very tricky thing to do when it's freezing, the girl walked by and she says, Are you Red Mage? And I'm like, That's me. And my YouTube channel. And she says, People keep telling me to make my videos like yours. And it's really making me mad. And I'm like, Oh, well, you don't got to make your videos like mine. Make them however you want to make them. She's like, Yeah, I make them around eight minutes long. Longer like yours. And I'm like, Oh, well, you know, it's just how much content I have for the day, how much trail I can film. And she said she was a snap, something like that. Uh, when 
rhododendrons attack. Part 45 and a half. Anyways, he said he was long haul, I believe. And she was told by Mr. Jimmy, and I believe that she needed to watch my videos. So, evidently she had some contact with two of the greatest trail angels on the Appalachian Trail this year. Mr. Jimmy and I believe. So that's good for them. And they said that they were going to uh, Bob People's Place. You know, Concora Hostel. Asked me if I was going there too. I said, yeah, I got you. I got no shelter, no sleeping bag. Because one of the trades contacts got a slack packet. And she's like, oh, I'm so jealous. And I'm like, man, don't be. This is a, an interesting option, and I'm glad I'm doing it, but it's really putting the pressure on me to go all the way there. And uh, I got no backup, man. I got no, no tent, no sleeping bag. So, you know, I don't want anything bad to happen, but whew, what if I slip, fell, twisted, or broke something, you know? Kind of SOL. So, I got to get there, it's happening, whether I like it or not. <sighs> I don't know how far I've gone, I don't know how far I've yet to go, but I get to see stuff like that. Okay, so we saw a blueberry at that Mountaineer Falls shelter earlier today. I was walking down the hill behind us, fixing to crawl, crawl up this hill, this mountain. Had my rain hood up because the wind was blowing through the clearing. Crunched through the snow. Minding my own business. And then all of a sudden I hear, Hello, Red Mage. When I tell you my heart jumped out of my chest, I spun around, did about a I don't know, 650 degree spin, didn't know what was happening, who was coming from where. Oh. And then I see a blueberry about three feet behind. Whew. He was debating whether or not to stay at Mountaineer Falls, but I guess the wind, he said the wind changed directions and it was uh, blowing right into the shelter so around 12.45 he packed up his stuff and he's heading to uh, Kinkora Hostel as well and uh, I 
don't know how big of a hostel that is, but it's got that one guy from earlier. And then Trey Fjord makes three. And then Snap and Big Hauler is five. And there's another guy that in front of me picked up an orange at six. And then Blueberry at seven. I hope it can hold at least eight. <laughs> oh. But uh, I think this up right in front of me is the last up for the day. Oh my goodness, let's hope it's the last up for the day. And that's what the sun's looking like over there. get there and no other options so I will there's a power line or telephone line Sunset's trying to hide on the other side of mountains. I'm going to try to get a picture of it whenever I can. And, uh, Blueberry had also mentioned that maybe downwind had already made it to Concord. So that's like eight hikers that will be there, possibly. There you go. What's up? Not too much. Uh, when did you start? Where did you start? And your trail name? Started the day before Valentine's Day, which I think was Monday, 13, obviously 13th. 13. I think it was a Monday, yeah. Started Springer. Uh, I stayed the night on top of Springer, even though I don't think I'm supposed to do that. I don't tell anybody. Uh, name's Nitro. Uh, graduated from UCF. The mascot's the Knights. The mascot's name is Nitro. So it's with a K. Okay. Um, and what else? Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Right. Because I'm, I'm horrible with names, so, no, absolutely. That's, so that's, that's why I'll... All right. And then we got Hawk. Yeah, I'm Hawk. I'm from Buffalo, New York. Um, just hiking it out, man. I started on the 12th from the falls below Springer. Okay. I uh, camped at Springer Mountain <laughs> on the, that night and then headed out the next day. All right. And how how did we wind up with Hawk? Uh, I've been Hawk forever because I've been playing rugby for like 30 years, and that was always been my nickname. All right, Hawk. Of course you play rugby. We have. <laughs> 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 I'm I still playing 51. February 13th from Amakula Falls. And I got my trail name because I snapped both my trekking poles in half on that's, the fourth day. <laughs> that's tragic. <laughs> yeah. But a trail angel gave me new ones. Oh. Okay. 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 He's a trail sugar yeah, I'm daddy. I'm Carpenter. Right. Started oh. on the 13th of February. Okay. Uh, I got the trail name. I brought a hammer on the trail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a hammer. Where now, is that hammer? Are, we, are we talking about like a big old east swing or like a little, uh, little, like little, a little tonka? Like, a hatchet would have worked better. All right, yeah. for you thought for tent, tent oh, no. stakes or something? I think or? I was hung over <laughs> okay. Amazon purchase. Yeah. All right, and we have here. Yeah, I'm downwind because there's a lot of wind produced down there. Um, <laughs> I started February 12th. Check me out on YouTube, Brian Sound 93. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, I started at Springer. So. Awesome. Yeah. All right. And we have... I'm Long Haul. Started February 13th at um, the Approach Trail. And um, my name is Long Haul because I pack for multiple weeks out without going into town. Okay. You can do that. 
And blueberry. Yep. Um, blueberry, I started February 11th, was like a two mile day. Uh, my first full day was the 12th. Um, the story behind my name is that I bought a giant packet or a giant box of blueberry pop tarts and someone was like, oh, we'll just call you blueberry. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And then the next day I proceeded to eat seven out of eight of the packets. About a pound of pop tarts. Uh, about a pound of pop tarts. Uh, I decided to question my uh, decision later down the trail. Uh, and now the last one is nicknamed Franklin and he's coming to uh, Katahdin with me. So. Awesome. Yeah. I had a cliff bar that I didn't eat until hot springs and Trey finally found it and threw it away and I'm like it was like the last of the eight and I hate cliff bars so it was just like in the pack and we got fjord oh, gosh. when'd you start I started on the 18th of February 18th of February and fjord uh, yeah. the, the, the horse huh yeah so I'm a horse person and I horseback ride a lot back home and I wanted a name that would harken back to that that wasn't super obviously horsey like Pony kid, totally not gonna work. But a fjord is a kind of horse that's native to, okay. the, to Norway, and they're small and stocky and tough. And I thought it fit. Just like her. Okay. <laughs> so you can't hate me if I if I say it for Jord, because that's just me. I, I Ford, Fjord, Fjord. And and uh, at lost the pie is dead over there. Uh, doing his thing. Yep, that's it. Okay. <laughs> well, thank y'all very much, and that'll be... Yep.